Hi everyone, this is Janet with another video. I wanted to share another one of my creations and also my uh, assortment of stick pins that I've been creating. I wanted to make a stick, um, excuse me, a pin cushion for me to use to display my stick pins in. So this is actually my pin cushion, but I created it and I wanted to share it with you. So what I did with this one is I took an actual flower pot, it's a little flower pot, and I used that as the base for my stick pin, I mean for my pin cushion. And of course again I filled it with my um, clear stones and then I had to choose the material I wanted to use for this, uh, the pin cushion itself. And of course I went through my uh, stash of material and I decided on this print here. It is a red pink uh, flower print with a little bit of yellow and blue. And it's just really an attractive material. So I made the pin cushion and I got it hot glued into the flower pot. And then uh, around uh, the rim, I went ahead and put some uh, white lace just to give it a little bit of um, flair to it here little bit of um, decoration and then I decided to put a flower here in the front and what I did was I took uh, several of my uh, petals I have petal collections and I have them all uh, color coded I have the oranges and the pinks and all that in different containers in my workshop and I put those hot glued those together and then I took a white button and, and I used that as the center of my flower and then behind it I wanted to add some leaves because all flowers gotta have some uh, greenery some leaves and I put a little spray of uh, baby's breath here and then I put three uh, feathers in the back I put a cream creamish it's sort of like a brown cream and then this is like a rusty red and then this beautiful green I love this green feather here but I wanted to make it simple because the main purpose of this uh, pin cushion is to display my uh, variety of um, stick pins. And I'll give you a look see there. Those are just some of the ones I've made. I'll pick out a few to show you. Um, of course, one of my, I love pink. Pink is my absolute favorite color, but I also like teal and blue. And so I've made several of those. This is one of them with the different beads. The, I used the black and the teal, and then I put spacers around the bottom bead here. That's one of them. Here's a real pretty one. This one is really pretty. This could almost be a tropical one with the, the bead here that looks almost like a wave in the ocean. And then of course this little teal colored bead. And then I added some black to it with the spacers and all. I like this one. And then uh, I have one here that has a really unique bead on it. Look at this one. It's like a little flower. Of course the little crystal bead on top. And then I have the darker teal here with some pearls and another crystal. And then the spacer spacers there. I thought that was kind of unique too. And of course I got two more here that are the teals and the blues with black accents and I think they're pretty. This is very light blue almost a teal and then this is a real pretty blue crystal here. And then of course the darker teal on these ones with the black. Those are some of my favorite teal ones and teal and blue ones. And I also have another one here. It's just sort of plain. It has the one bead here with the spacers and then the two black uh, beads with the crystal on top. And that's those. And then of course I have some, um, let me see, pink ones. This is one with one of the flowers and then the two-tone uh, pink beads here and then I got this pink one it's hard to tell that this is pink it, 
but it really is. This is a very light, clear pink with a white swirl inside. And then I chose a very light, light pink pearl, and I put spacers on each side of that one. That one is very pretty. I like it. And then I have this one, another large bead. This one is a little bit darker of uh, uh, crystal clear, like, and it has a rose. And then inside there, it looks like there's a bead inside that that rose is attached to. And then it has some blue swirls going around it. And again, I chose a very, very light, light pink pearl with the spacers, and then I added the black. Sometimes I like to add the black to uh, different colors because it really makes the other colors be be more enhanced. And then I made a collection of some red, red beads or red stick pins, and here they are here. Of course, I have the flower with the red and the silver. Then this one is just red uh, crystal uh, beads with the black uh, beads. And then again, the red crystals with um, the spacers there on those. So those are very pretty too. I like those too. And then I have a brown one that I did. A brown or rust, I guess you could say. It's a light here and then dark and then a medium here with the spacers in between. I like that one too. That one's kind of pretty. And then I have one that's just actually black and white. This is the crystal and then a, a large white pearl and then a black bead. And then this bead here um, is black and white swirls as you can see. That would be good on um, a creation that uh, had sort of a, a zebra print on it because it's got the black and white stripes there. And then my last one that I've done so far is, it looks like it's all black, but I have a white pearl here with the two black beads. This is actually, um, it's clear on the outside, but inside there is a black bead, and on the bead there are actually little miniature roses on it and I thought that was quite elegant there but that's another one of my stick pins and when I make uh, when I make pin cushions to uh, give away or when I go to sell them I usually add a couple stick pins to them um, it, it just gives an added touch to the to the pin cushion you're gonna you're gonna get or sell so but these are just some of my creations I I hope you like them, and um, uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing them as much as I enjoyed making them. And as I said in my one video, I am going to be starting to sell them, um, and I will let everybody know. And I, I hope you like them. Um, I like making them. I like making the videos and sharing with everybody what I, I have to offer. And I appreciate all of you, and I appreciate your comments. And I just hope all of you have a really, really great day. I'm having a great day. I hope everybody's having a great day. So we'll talk to you later, and thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.